We start first with the Italian sonnet, also known as the Petrarchan sonnet. This type of sonnet was perfected by an Italian poet in the name of Petrarch, and it divides the 14 lines of the sonnet into two sections. There's an eight-line stanza called an octave, consisting of four and four, quatrain, quatrain, and that rhymes A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. That is, the end words on each line rhyme with one another so that the first and the fourth rhyme together and the middle two rhyme together. So A, B, B, A, and then A, B, B, A. Following that, there's a six-line stanza called a sestet, consisting basically of three and three, two tercets, and that rhymes C, D, C, D, C, D, or sometimes C, D, E, E, D, E. So again, the Petrarchan sonnet, basically 14 lines, again, iambic pentameter, rhyming A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, and then a sestet, C, D, C, D, C, D, or C, D, E, C, D, E. The Italian sonnet is, that we have, is an English variation on that original version. It's written in English, whereas the Petrarchan sonnets were written originally in Italian. The Italian sonnet, as we call it, is an English variation on that traditional Petrarchan version. The octave's rhyme scheme is the same, but the sestet rhymes C, D, D, C, E, E. We'll start first with a sonnet by Petrarch, translated by Henry Howard. This is the sonnet 12, called Alas, So All Things Now Do Hold Their Peace. 